Ooh, robots. Well, hey there, retro gamer and vintage toy fan. My name is Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out, and today we're taking a look at some of my live hunting footage. I'll be providing you with some commentary and showing you all my pickups. Let's get to it. So we're back again at one of these collectors get together things. I try to go whenever I find out that they're happening because there's not really much to find out about these online, but there are like a lot in every area everywhere you go to it's gonna be hit or miss some areas might not have the same good stuff as this one usually has and over here it's also not every single time that you're gonna find gold first purchase of the day as my buddy picks up a gi joe on card i'm not sure which one because he didn't show it to the camera but he was he seemed pretty glad about it it was a european french card he had in his hands so i don't know he was psyched about it but come on dude show it to the camera and definitely check out his instagram page where he shows you all of his stuff that he finds and he has a freaking cool collection that stockman's collection check it out on instagram ooh games but nothing i need batman on the Sega Master System is a great game though. I already have it. And what do we have over here? Speedball 2 in a cardboard case. Oh, okay, it's, it's a floppy disk version for like Commodore or Amiga, whatever that stuff works with. I have one. I have like a Turtles Amiga or Commodore game. <laughs> oh, and yes, a tub of NES games and well, I own every single game in here. It's getting kind of boring checking out NES games in Belgium, really. I, I need to get to America, because the stuff you find over there that's like worth nothing, uh, I don't have it yet. So send me all the dollar games you can. Here's some turtles in a tub, but uh, nothing too special I want to add to my collection right now. I'm taking a look at this Brave Star text mix and, you know, sending a picture and, <laughs> and taking a picture to send this to Nark, not another retro channel, because he's really looking for this text mix figure. I told him I'm, I'm seeing it a lot, so this price was kind of what it's worth. I want to get it a little bit cheaper for him and maybe get one for my collection because now that he told me this Brave Star stuff, looks kind of cool I kind of want it too so new collection coming up soon <laughs> Ooh, Dino Riders! Not box, but hey, these are with the accessories. Usually you find these Dino Rider toys, just the dinosaur, and then you're not really sure if it's just a Tyco dinosaur or if it really belongs to Dino Rider series. I'm gonna go around first to see what else is up over here, and if I didn't buy anything, I'm probably gonna get some of these loose, but complete with the accessory. Dino Riders. This is crazy. It's pretty. It's a pretty good day over at the collectors get the getter thing. And then I bump into Jake, who's also a game collector. He's going through some PS1 games and also some Japanese import Saturn stuff. But uh, he tells me, oh, the dude in the back, he's trying to get a deal on all of it. He's trying to buy everything all at once. But, you know, the Japanese Saturn games look kind of cool. I don't know which ones were worth anything, but seeing as the guy's trying to make a deal on it, I'm just gonna see what else is around, and if there's still some stuff left, I might go through it a bit later. And next up, I find something I've been looking for for the longest time. Right here, we see some of the He-Man, a tub of He-Man toys, and I find a toy I've been looking for for the longest time. This is Moss Man from the original Masters of the Universe toy line. And actually, you know the guys they're selling over here. Uh, one is Leslie, I'll leave his Instagram down below. And the other is 80s Blog. He has some cool stuff on his Instagram too, so definitely check out both of them. Uh, anyways, I'm picking up Moss Man. He's 10 euros, but he's in pretty good condition. And you know, it's one of those flaked, where they have like an animal skin type of feel to it, like Pantro. Uh, from Skeletal where he has the same thing. I, I don't know what the really uh, what the real term is, but I think it's like flaked 
stuff. Something with flaked at least. Ooh, and some battle beasts. One, some of them, some of these are actually with the weapons. I've never seen them with the weapons before. I'm putting together a maybe pile over here because I think I'm gonna get a bro price on this stuff. Next up, I head over to the other side of their boot and I see some beast wars. Now I'm really into the beast war toy line, so some of these are broken. Uh, I ask him about what's the price on these. He's like, yeah, I would like to sell them as a big lot, and I'm like, well, I can't really do anything with the broken ones because they break too easily and he's like you know I'll split them up for you what do you want I also find a gambit which I've been looking for I'm looking for all the main X-Men characters from the toy biz toy line and this gambit has been on my list for the longest time so yeah freaking great I get all of this stuff for a bro prize they kind of like throw their stuff together give me a deal and that's great so let's take a look at all this stuff so right here we have Moss Man who's in great condition he does have a lot of hair though a lot of hair yeah uh, he is kind of hairy uh anyways he's like beast man but just with a flake color and of course he's green so he can't be seen like that freaking commercial moss man moss man is green so i can't be seen <laughs> it's so funny it's moss man he's green so he can't be seen look he man's alone it's two against one! Wrong, Boneface! It's two against two! Mossman fooled you! Yard! Mossman, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. He man, he man. Those commercials are friggin' hilarious. Anyways, this is one of the figurines I really wanted to add to my collection. He didn't come with the weapon, but he was only 10, and then I don't know with the discount what he ended up being. Um, next up, we have Gambit over here, who came with his sticky thingy, and his action is actually working. So, what you usually get is this leg keeps popping up. It doesn't really click anymore, but this one still has the action. He comes with his jacket kind of thingy. And yeah, a cool Toy Biz figure I wanted to add to my X-Men Toy Biz collection. Then let's talk about the Battle Beast. So yeah, these two that came with the weapons, uh, I didn't have yet. I, I don't have a lot of Battle Beasts yet, so I'm always looking for new ones. This, These were all like five apiece. He was like, you know, I'll do five apiece. Uh, unfortunately, this one has, he used to have wings, so I think he's like a bat battle beast or something. Um, he doesn't have the wings anymore, so I'll probably have to upgrade that one, but I don't know if uh, Leslie knew that. But uh, anyways, giving these two for five apiece and then this one, I, I don't have it yet, so I'll upgrade it to one that has wings. Uh, but yeah, so that was 15 and then I also got two more Beast Wars. I don't know what how this one is called It's like an armadillo type of guy um, What's cool about these tinier ones is they like automatically transform so you don't really have to do too much uh, This one this armadillo guy is complete. He does come with both of its weapons and uh, The next one is one that I knew from the series that I was watching as a kid I, I think his name is Rat Trap or Raticate. No, that's that's a Pokemon. But he also has that same action where you just pull his. Oh yeah, there's Rat Trap. I think that's his name. Uh, he was really cool in a cartoon. I always liked him. I had this figurine as a kid, so I definitely needed to pick it up. There, another thing I saw over at their booth was a Mega Drive. Again, he was trying to sell it as a lot, but I saw like a game I needed, so I was like, you want to sell it separately? And he gave it to me for five euros. <laughs> And that was Vector Man. Now this is a run and gun shoot 'em up game. Um, actually, kind of cool. I thought like you know the figurines made out of just balls, balls. but yeah, actually playing it, it looked kind of cool. The graphics are okay. Um, this one did not come with the manual, but for five euros, I wasn't gonna complain about that. So definitely a good ad for my collection. Thanks so much, guys. 80s blog and Leslie for giving me this deal. And then we're moving on, checking out some other boots. Oh great, another troll. Actually kind of cool, these trolls. They're like also Master of the Universe knockoff toys. That's pretty, pretty darn cool. And then I meet up with Laszlo, who you might remember from my Comic-Con videos. I'll leave a link up there and uh, down there up to the here and down to the there. I'll leave a link to that video uh, where he's showing off stuff he has over his boot. 
he, he had over at his booth. Unfortunately, the footage got caught off where I met Laszlo because we already had a deal made with some cool toys he was gonna bring and I was gonna bring him something or I was just gonna pay him. I don't remember anymore. This is like two months ago right now. All right, here we have it. He showed me a couple of pictures of, of stuff he still had doubles of. Uh, the first stuff I really wanted to get were these G.I. Joes. Uh, I wanted to get a shipwreck because I had sold mine. I don't know why I did that. Shipwreck didn't come with any of the accessories, but he's a cool one. Uh, this one, I don't know what his name is. Is it Gobulus or something like that? Anyways, in the uh, he's a character in the animated movie of G.I. Joe, and I think it's like when Serpentor, he drops like some chemicals onto Cobra Commander and he starts just turning into a real snake in the end. So that's him right here, a cool figurine to get. I'm always more into the Cobra stuff anyway, so I had to get this one for my collection. No accessories, but hey, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I don't mind. A very big G.I. Joe figurine for sure. Then we got some of these giant uh, biker mice from Mars. You know, biker mice from Mars are kind of, they were already kind of ripping off Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had giant toys. They decided, hey, we're gonna do giant toys too. These actually, did they come with helmets? I don't know. But they have like a couple of, a couple points of articulation around the head, around the waist, and just the arm. Nothing on the legs, but you can turn around the tail. So, uh, I don't actually know the names of these. One of these is Vinny, I think, and then I'm missing Moto, which is the one I had as a kid. And Laszlo also threw in this uh, Biker Mice bike, motorbike. So yeah, pretty freaking cool to put up on the top shelf over here next to all my other, you know, big toys. The, the last thing and the last thing is actually the first thing I purchased from Laszlo a couple of months ago and he was going to bring today is this Dino Riders toy in box and there I say mint in box. Freaking freaking frick yeah. Uh, this is one I wanted for so long. I just needed to get like the bad guy one in the box just to have like one really cool Dino Riders toy. I love the cartoon series and you know the box art on all of these are just freaking amazing. So this is the Ankylosaurus, a crossbow on top of him. Uh, yeah, you never see him with the accessories. You almost never see them for a decent price in the box, but he really dropped a lot of uh, he, he really gave it to me for a great deal, uh, so I was so freaking glad with this one and just, you know, to get the mutant side, not the good guy side. I'm always more into, like, Cobra and into Skeletor and into, you know, the bad guys. I like the bad guys. So this was definitely a really cool collector's piece and one that's staying in my collection for sure. All right, uh, then I actually turned the GoPro back on and we were talking about some of the knockoff toys for the Twirly Gang uh, toy line, which is a Master of the Universe knockoff toy line. I have a couple of Twirly figurines. I already bought all this stuff from him, so I was like, yeah, I know you have this for sale, but I gotta, you know, keep some money for next week when I wanna go out to the fleet market or anything like that. So he was like, you know, showing me some cool stuff making me learn about, hey, if you see any of these accessories, they're worth a lot, so pick them up, pick up any of these Motu 5.5 uh, figurines because, you know, they're booming, they're trending, they're really getting a lot of attention. Um, but, you know, I already bought stuff over at Leslie's and uh, over at Laszlo, so I'm just walking around browsing. I'm already glad with all the stuff I got. And uh, the last thing I seem to pick up is... And the last thing I pick up is a gummy bear. <laughs> Yeah, I love this series. It, it's also Disney. It's like from the same era of those uh, Saturday morning cartoons like Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, and DuckTales. This was Gummy Bears. Uh, this is like the dad Gummy Bear or something. A really cool cartoon. 
Um, and these were the Fisher Price toys that they came with. It's from 85 actually. So yeah, Fisher Price, Gummy Bear. I already had another another one of these, so I, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to complete the set. This was like three euros or something. Really cool figurine. Brings me back to my childhood and that's pretty much why I get all of this stuff, I think. Then some stuff I didn't get on camera were two Toy Biz figurines. I got this really cool looking Venom. A really cool face sculpt over here and I got uh, another X-Men or what is this actually uh, this is Cable um, he's missing part of his face I don't know what accessories he came with but it was cheap it was like two euros a piece for these so had to get him for the Toy Biz collection and uh, yeah that's kind of it for the pickups we also went to another flea market but it was freezing outside so that flea market was pretty much frozen I don't think if people brought stuff over there, uh, it, it would have been good. You shouldn't put it out in the elements when it's freezing. Uh, there were no toys or any games out there like that, so that fortunately didn't get ruined by the freezing cold. Uh, anyways, I enjoyed all my pickups. Let me know down below in the comments what you picked up this week, what new toy you got, what new retro game you got, and if you have any questions for me, also leave it down below, leave a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We do live toy hunts and game hunting on the show all the time, and I show part of my collection each week. So, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!